Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now on this video here we're back onto this Starfield thing again and currently Starfield has updated yet again, okay? So let's see what the favoring, the PC or the Xbox today on this update. We don't know, so I don't know what it is. Been in game and had a look and I'll, get, I'll tell you what my results are when you see it in the video in the background. Okay, so... Currently the latest update for Starfield is Starfield Update 1.7.36, currently October the 9th, 2023, so that is the very latest one, guys. Okay, so currently it was released today, I'm currently on the GMT, which is the UK time, currently at the moment at 22.55, 22.55, yes. And currently this is when this video is being recorded. That's when it downloaded, okay? So, let's have a quick look. So currently this is a Starfield update, 1.7.36, 1 October the 9th, 2023, okay? So we'll read through like we usually do in these videos. So currently, this is how it goes. So a new update has been released for, the st for Starfield on all platforms. This update includes changes to settings that follow, that allow for players to adjust their field of view as FOV field of view, as well as some other performance and stability improvements. Thank you so much for your continued feedback and support of Starfield, and we will look forward to a future with you on this journey. So here we go. So this is starting with the patch notes or the, the fixes. So it's Starfield 1.7.36 update fixes and improvements. General, FOV field of view sliders are now available in settings that allow players using first person and third person to adjust their field of view. Performance and stability and in Big brackets, it says PC only, obviously, because they don't support Xbox. Improved stability for Intel Arc GPUs. Various addition stability and performance improvements. Okay, so we're down onto the very bottom one now. And this one is Quest. So there is a Quest that's been fixed, guys. They've actually done some work. A Quest has been fixed. So let's have a look here. Echoes of the past addressed an issue where t tunneling creatures could pick a location that would, pre pre would prevent prog progression. Oh, that was a bit of a, a tongue twister. Okay, so I'll do it again. Echoes of the past address an issue where tunneling creatures could pick a location that would prevent progression. Now, currently, it looks like this update has been made for uh, do, 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 do. so the sliders uh, it's probably PC so this looks like it's a PC update guys okay so it doesn't look like it's been made for Xbox I tried the Xbox version today and it is still as wonderfully broke as ever okay so it is broke knackered whatever you want to call it it is really 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 gone okay so uh, still doesn't work on xbox xbox series s which i'm currently on not x s basically crashes on basically everything so take it however you want it is what it is with the best we can do is just wait so there we go guys it doesn't look like a very much the don't look like they've done very much here does it it look basically a really sad show so it looks like my next video will be a no man's sky one because basically bethesda don't want to fix their own game basically it's uh, another very pc centric game so there we go guys well thank you so much for watching the video sorry to hear me whinge on too much and i'll see you on the next one bye